Finding your phone, wallet, laptop and tablet can be a big waste of time when you're hurrying up for school, college and work and this can be a very stressful situation. We have different tracking devices in the market including Tile, Orbit, Chipolo and Cube which helps you find your stuff. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very specific type of tracking device which is known as the Inway card. The Inway card is an ultra thin rechargeable Bluetooth equipped credit card size tracker which helps you find your stuff. So jumping on to the unboxing, we are unboxing the uh, Inway card and then we have two compartments. The top compartment consists of the Inway card's uh, charger. Let's take the charger out of the box. And then in the bottom compartment, we have the uh, Inway card. Let's take the Inway card. And then you have a small QR code being provided, which helps you download the app for the Inway card. Let's move that as well. And then opening the hatch down below, you are able to see the user manual for the Inway card, which tells you the different capabilities of the Inway card, how to download the app and all the instructions. And today I'm gonna be your user manual for the Inway card, telling you the different capabilities of this Inway card. So let's put the Inway card over there. So along with the Inway card, you get a user manual, you get the QR code for downloading the app, and then the only accessory which you get is the charger for the Inway card. Now let's open the charger box. And then the uh, charger for the Inway card is a pin type charger. So there's no uh, wireless charging for this device, but then the only thing they give you is a pin type charger. Pretty standard. You just have to match the uh, uh, pins on the charger with the points being provided at the back of the uh, Inway card. Those two contacts over there, you just match them and then you plug the um, charger onto your wall adapter. So you can use a 5 volt 1, am one amp uh, wall adapter or you can also use a 5 volt 500 milliamp uh, port which is being provided in the computers and laptops and then you can charge your card. Charging takes place for up to 3 hours and then you'll be able to use the card for up to 4 to 6 months. I've been using it for 2 months straight without having to charge the card. And now let's take a look at the card itself because it's a ultra thin credit card size tracker so how does it compare to a credit card we're going to take a look at that as well so we have the inway card itself let's remove that sheet away let's take a look at the uh, card in detail very thin smooth finish and then you have those two pin contacts giving you information and then you have a small button over there which is a little hard to press and the pressing the button helps you find your phone so that's the uh, tracker button Let's keep it over there. Now let's see how it compares to a normal credit card. The weight. So let's weigh the card. 12 grams. That's the weight of the Inway card. Now let's weigh a credit card to see how it compares along with a credit card because it matches in shape. But let's see the weight. Okay. The credit card is weighing 7 grams. So the Inway card kind of weighs twice than that of a normal credit card. Now let's measure the thickness of the card because it says ultra thin i want to see how ultra thin the inway card is so let's first uh, measure my discover credit card obviously i have my card pointed down such that you cannot see the number i'm just joking okay let's open the manual caliper let's make sure i don't have any errors in the caliper monitoring system and then let's measure 0 0.8 mm okay that's for the normal credit card now let's see for the Inway tracker card. Let's make sure that I have all my caliper measurements perfectly correct. And then I'm just gonna close it. Let's see, the thickness is 1.6 mm. So the Inway tracker card is two times thicker than a normal credit card. So right now, let's go on to the charging of the uh, Inway card. So for charging the Inway card, as I already mentioned, you just have to match the points and then you just have to make sure the pins of the charger is matching the uh, point contacts of the uh, Inway tracker card and then you can just plug it onto your wall adapter which is a 5 volt 1 amp or you can also use a computer USB for uh, charging the uh, Inway card. Now let's go on to the very most important part that's the indicator light which tells you the card is charging. Now let's go on to the temperature testing. The temperature testing which we're doing make sure the card is safe and can be placed within a laptop sleeve or a wallet. Temperature is 27 degrees perfectly fine. This is 10 minutes in the charging process already. And then let's check the back of the card. The temperature is 27 degrees, perfectly fine. The card is safe to be used and you can place it within your wallet or your laptop sleeve. Now let's go on to a very funny or a bit uh, little useful information. So 
the app logos for both the Spotify and Inway kind of look the same. So I got confused a little bit time. So you might want to place the Spotify app and the Inway app in little, two different locations such that you don't want to get confused. Let's go on to the app installation. So I'm going to be using an iPhone 8 Plus and then you can also use your Android phone. It also works with Android. You can go to the Play Store, search for Inway. So while the app gets downloaded over there, we have different information which says that the Inway card comes in different colors which is black green blue and red and then the range of tracking is up to 100 feet or 30 meters so if the range exceeds this uh, particular metric then what happens is that the last known location of the card has been shown in the app and then you can track the location of the uh, card this tracking for 100 feet or 30 meters can also vary in different environments so giving the app all the permissions you just have to register using a user id and password and then log in using the user id and password into the inway app and then let's start the pairing procedure so the pairing procedure is pretty simple so once you put in your email id and password you just have to press the button on the tracker card for five seconds long straight and then you have a beep followed by a blue light being um, indicated on the card then type the option inway card and then wait for the confirmation procedure you should be able to see the confirmation procedure shown there we go and then now let's take a look at the user interface of the app the user interface of the app is very user friendly very easy to use so let's go on with that so here we go the user interface so that's the map telling you where the inway card is being located right now and that's the location where this technology studio is placed Clicking on the profile icon on the top left corner, you should be able to see these options over here. And then clicking on the three dots on the bottom right corner, you should be able to see these options over here. And these options, we're going to change the name of the Inway card. I'm going to name it as the Smart Wallet because I'm going to be using this inside my wallet. And I'm going to be featuring the Smart Wallet in my Tech Build series very soon. And then they also have a separation alert. So the distance between the card and the phone varies. Then an alarm is sounded and then you can find out where your uh, wallet has been missing so it also has a camera app why do we have a camera app the inway card can be also used as a selfie camera control so i'm going to be showing you how you do that so click on the uh, inway cards camera icon so i'm going to change it to the uh, front camera such that i'm able to take a selfie of myself let's change it back and then you just click the uh, button of the tracker card making sure you are positioned correctly say cheese and then just click on the card and the card the phone should be able to take a photo of you there we go that's the uh, snapshot of it and now let's get into the uh, app itself so that's a very cool feature okay so right now let's go on to more important functionality of this tracker so these are the three different types of ringtones present on your card when you track your card using your phone you just have to click on the ring smart wallet button and then the card plays this ringtone these are the three different types of ringtones playing in the background similarly you can also track your phone using the card so the phone plays different types of ringtones being played in the background when you just click the button on the front face of the card and these are the three different types of ringtones playing in the background now let's go on to the more functionality which is the do not disturb settings you can set the hours in which you don't want the phone to be tracking your card or the place the home or work or autonomous function you can just click on the particular wi-fi and when the phone connects to the wi-fi it will not be tracking the card so that's a pretty cool feature as well and then let's go on to the other option over here these options can be accessed by clicking the profile icon on the top right corner so you have the buy an inway card the help center help center is very useful the app has been designed very well this helps you with all the questions you have regarding the pairing or any other functionalities and you can also contact inway by clicking over there or you can see the privacy policy by just clicking over there that is also pretty cool and this app is well designed well developed kudos to all the developers who developed the app and now let's go on to the accuracy so that's the exact location where i'm located and that's exactly where my wallet is so that's the location of the technology st studios and that's a perfect good location it's very accurate all right we're coming down to the most important aspect of this unboxing whether this inway tracker fits inside two types of wallets we have the regular cash wallet we also have the credit card only wallet so let's see whether the inway card fits inside 
obviously i'm not going to put it inside the credit card slots because it's a little bit more thicker than a credit card and then i'm going to put it inside this slot over here you should not be having any trouble with the card when you sit on the wallet it's not going to bend and break and then good it fits perfectly and then let's switch this card to a standard wallet which has cash coins credit cards let's see how it fits in that now switching over and then you have a lot of slots i have a lot of slots over here so i can just sneak this card inside and it should be all good perfect now let's go to the waterproof test i'm just going to dip my card in water card is wet let's click on the button perfect moving on to the final verdict so let's take a look at all the pros so the inway tracker card fits in all types of wallets it's a bang for your buck it's only $30 matches with all the price ranges of all other trackers it is the thinnest tracker I've ever seen it has a rechargeable battery meaning that you don't have to keep on buying these small tiny batteries which they put in watches and stuff you can just recharge this card using a USB cable and you're all set no subscription services unlike tile and then it has a long battery life ranging from four to six months which is pretty good and I've been using this for two months straight up with no charging in between let's take a look at the cons poor sound levels it comes up to 70 decibels but on the bright side the advantage is that it the last location of your card is being shown on the map so even in the case when you aren't able to hear it you'll be able to at least estimate it saying that okay it's probably in this location you can find it still the limited tracking range I would say that's a big con, but at the same time, the last location of the card is being shown on the map, so you'll be able to find it. And also, you also have a separation alarm, which is more easy, because when you leave that particular region, crossing that 100 feet or the 30 meter uh, limit, the card is going to sound, and that is the way you can easily still find it. So that is one other advantage. So these two cons are not going to be a big negative effect but still it does play a little bit of effect on the uh, buying purchase but then this is going to be a perfect purchase for wallets having very limited space so i would go and buy this card this is a very good card i bought it it's going to be a perfect addition to my smart wallet and i recommend this card thank you guys for watching the video